Good morning, Lincoln Lions. Today is Wednesday, May 5th. Happy Cinco de Mayo Day. All right, let's start off. We have a birthday today. Bodie Schreiber, it's your birthday today. Happy birthday today, Bodie. What a fun day to have your birthday. Let's see, for lunch today, we have a hot diggity dog or a PB&J sandwich, and it's tater day. Tomorrow, we have a deluxe chicken burrito or a deli sandwich and refried beans. So be thinking if you want to have lunch at school or bring your own. All right, let's see. I've got some kind kids that were perfect for Teacher Appreciation Week because they are written by students appreciating teachers. The first one is Professor Greentree was kind because she is one of the best teachers in the world because she makes sure everyone understands the lessons. And that was from Cheyenne and Professor Greentree's class. That's so nice. Thank you for recognizing that. Mrs. Greentree is a pretty amazing teacher, that is for sure. And the other one I had here is Miss Megan was kind because she helps me and the other kids understand stuff that we are having trouble with. And that was respectfully submitted by Amara in Mrs. Kramer's class. So thank you, Amara, for noticing that with Miss Megan. I love, we have the best teachers here at Lincoln. I tell you, we sure do. Um, let's see. Oh, here's another teacher one in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week. Mr. OK Carr was kind because he allowed me to become a junior coach. And that was respectfully submitted by Astrid Reese and that um, Astrid is in Mrs. Greentree's class. So thank you, Astrid, for celebrating Mr. OK Carr and Mrs. Trevathan who help with our junior coaches. And I know Miss Raina and Miss Ashlyn have been coming for our junior coach um, meetings as well. And so thank you, guys. Okay, let's do another let's see here we go um Jaden Schultz was kind because he always says hi to me each time when I come in from the playground and it makes me happy and that was submitted by Wyatt to Jones in Mr. Brown's class so Jaden it sounds like you're in Miss Greentree's class and so thank you you must be a junior coach out there helping with our lineups so thanks Wyatt for noticing that and let's see, here is another. This one is Gisela Hernandez was kind because she reached out to partner with a classmate on a job when she might have preferred to work alone. She recognized that he really wanted to work in partners and put his needs before her own. And that was submitted by Mrs. Croson. So thank you, Gisela, for doing that. That makes me think about our character trait this month of deep kindness. You made a choice, right, when it was something different than what you were maybe wanting to do, but you did something that was better for somebody else, and that was super kind, so thank you. Okay, speaking of that, I have a fun little picture today that I thought you could talk with your class and see, or even just think in your brain, how does this picture show kindness? So here we are. We've got a bear, I'm trying to line it up right, Ooh. a bear and a fox, and we've got a kite, and it looks like it might be stuck in a tree. Oh my goodness. So how does this show kindness? What do you notice is kind in this photo? So kind of interesting, right? I noticed that there's a friend who looks like he stopped to help, right? And that's super nice. And I noticed that Boy, they're both working hard together, having that teamwork, so pretty fun. All right, our Mr. Brown's Thinking Like Lincoln um, precept for today is something that, again, has to do with our character trait for this month of deep kindness. And so I've got a 
a message for you. It says here, oh, let me get it lined up. I have horrible hand-eye coordination, I tell you. This way. <laughs> Kindness, the choice to act with words, gifts, or actions to bring appreciation, positivity, and encouragement to ourselves and others. I love that. And so as we are still in Teacher Appreciation Week, thinking about ways that you can show the teachers here at this school through your words and your actions, how much you appreciate them. And that is a really powerful thing we can do. All right, let's go ahead and we'll see if the flag salute. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I hope you all have a great day of learning. Don't forget, if you're interested in the talent show, come see Miss Kim to talk about your act. Um, and also don't forget our mass member right above our nose. So that same reminder. Have a great day of learning, everybody.